In this video, we are going to learn how to solve indefinite integration with Casio calculator easily in a matter of seconds, especially for multiple choice questions. Now, after going through this video, you will be able to solve indefinite integration with Casio FS901 ES Plus calculator easily in a matter of seconds, especially for multiple choice questions. So, stay with me to the end of this video. You will learn a lot. Okay, let's begin. Now note that whenever you want to solve indefinite integral questions, the calculator should always be in reduce mode to avoid unnecessary error. Very, very important. So take note of this point. Having known that, let's look at the examples I have here and solve them together. Example one here says compute the integral function s cube exponential raised to the power s so right now we are going to evaluate this integral function s cube exponential raised to the power s with the Casio calculator so let's bring the Casio calculator okay the first thing we will have to do will be to kill out the calculator the essence of claim the calculator is avoid unnecessary error because you might not remember whether you have performed a previous calculation on the calculator. So to clear your doubts and to be on the safe side, we are advised to clear the calculator. And to clear the calculator, you simply press shift button 9, you put the instruction, you want to clear or press 3, you press equal to and equal to again. So we have cleared the calculator. The next thing we will do will be to put the calculator in reduce mode. As you can see it's in degree. So you change it to reduce. To do that, you press shift mode button, category 4, stands for reduce, you press 4. So the calculator is now in reduce mode. So the next thing we will do now will be to store a, a ring number. In the calculator like two three or four we used to evaluate this integral function we have here but i'm going to work with two in this video i will also recommend you to also work with two because i have practiced with two personally for a long time and i have not found error with it so i will recommend you to be working with two Having known that, so let's start to in this calculator. To do that, you simply press the number 2, then press shift, then store this RCL button, then press the alphabet X. So once you do it, this will indicate that 2 has been stored as X in the calculator. So you wipe it and input the integral function. So there we have x cube to bring out x you press alpha first before pressing x if you just press x alone it will not come out unless you press alpha before pressing x so take note of this we have x cube there so you use this power function and press the way you come down exponential is the power of x so you press shift exponential is here next to power x alpha x press equal to 59.11 okay so right now we are going to differentiate each and every one of these options to break this polynomials down we are going to differentiate each and every one of them to put them in whole number. So, any of the options that will give us 59.11 as we differentiate them will be the answer to this question. So, let's begin. So, to start with, you press shift this integral sign button to bring out the over the x. So, you begin to impute the value is there. So we have exponential raised to the power x. 
shift exponential so we have alpha x you come down in brackets we have x cubed alpha x this power function you come down minus 3x alpha x raised to power 2 plus 6x alpha x minus 6 okay you don't have to include this plus c the plus c here is just a constant so you don't have to include it in the calculator so you close the bracket to balance the brackets very very important make sure you balance the bracket as you can see at the left hand side we have two brackets one two why at the right hand side we have two brackets one two so make sure that you balance the brackets very very important to avoid error after imputing your values so we come here and put the two we stored in the calculator and even we stored three when we come here we put three but since we stored two two will be put there so we press equal to 59.11 so option a is the answer to this question no need differentiating option b c so this is how you can solve indefinite integration with Cartesian calculator it's as simple as that in summary all you will have to do with it to evaluate the integral function and differentiate the options to get your answer it's as simple as that so let's solve one more example and after it we call it a class the example t has said that means the integral function s square exponential raised to the power x so let's evaluate the integral function we have s square there alpha x square exponential raised to the power x keeps is exponential alpha x so if press equal to 29.55 so let's differentiate the options to get the one that give us 29.55 so let's begin with option a so right now if i shift this integral sign both to the bring out d over dx so let's begin to impute the values we have s square alpha x exponential x power x alpha x you come down minus 2x alpha x exponential raised to the power x alpha x you come down you have plus 2 exponential raised to the power x alpha x okay so this is what we have here let's confirm let's check if we are correct okay okay we are correct so let's come here and put the two restored make sure the brackets are balanced we have one bracket on the left hand side we also have one bracket on the right hand so the brackets are balanced so let's press report and get our answer 29.55 so option a is the right answer to this question no need differentiating option b and option d so that's it guys it's as simple as that this is 
Basically, how you can solve indefinite integration in Casio calculator is as simple as that. Just make sure that you put your calculator in radius mode. You store array number like two. You used to evaluate the integral function. I also used to differentiate the options and all that, and you will definitely get the right answer. So, we are coming to the end of this class. I hope I taught this topic very well. If you are new to our channel, make sure you subscribe to our channel for more of our videos. Also, like, share, and comment on this video to tell me how you feel about what you have just learned in this class. If you seem to have any specific question to ask, feel free to leave your question at the comment section below. I will be sure to give you a response. I also recommend you to watch my video on how to solve definite integration with Casio calculator. I'm going to leave the link to that video in the description of this video below. So check the description of this video. You are going to see the link to my video on how to solve definite integration with Casio calculator. I did a nice explanation on that video. So make sure you watch it. That's it for this class guys. Thanks for watching this video.